Mr. Speaker, I rise today to pay tribute to 176 people who were taken from this world too soon, to remember who they were, to stand in solidarity with the people they loved. Mr. Speaker, on January 8, 167 passengers and nine crew members took their seats aboard Ukrainian International Airlines Flight 752 and waited for takeoff. For 138 of them, Canada would be their final destination. Among these passengers, there were newlyweds, a mother and her teenage daughter, a father on his way home to his young son, families of three, families of four, a grade 12 student who wanted to become a doctor, a talented dentist focused on starting a practice here in Canada, an ambitious 10-year-old boy who was confident that one day he would sit in the very seat from which I rise, confident that one day his voice would be heard in this house. Monsieur le Président, c'est une tragédie que ce jeune garçon n'occupera jamais un siège dans cette chambre. Mais son histoire et celle de toutes les victimes du vol 752 résonneront non seulement dans cette chambre, mais à travers notre grand pays. Des histoires d'espoir, d'ambition, de courage. Des histoires uniques et inspirantes de résilience, de détermination et de joie. Parce que ces 176 personnes sont beaucoup plus que juste des victimes. Mr. Speaker, over the past weeks, I have sat down with many grieving families. They told me about their loved ones, about who they were, about what they liked to do, about their plans for the future. They lived lives far too rich to be defined by this tragedy. Before any of this happened, they were not just shaping their own lives, they were building our country, building a future we all share that is now diminished by their loss. Mr. Speaker, we cannot change the terrible events that took them away from us, but we can choose how we remember them. And today, we choose to remember their strength, their kindness, their passion for life. In a way, we all knew these passengers, the friend you could always count on, the child you watched grow up, the inspiring teacher, the superhero, mom or dad. These people, they shape our lives. They make us who we are. And losing them like this, so unexpectedly, is devastating. This is in part why so many Canadians across the country came together in support of the families and loved ones of the victims. Because while we can only imagine the magnitude of their loss, we refuse to see them go through this tragedy alone. In the moments the most sombre, the Canadians have been united to support the families and the proches of those who have quitté too late. D'un bout à l'autre du pays, les gens ont participé à des cérémonies commémoratives. Ils ont allumé des bougies, déposé des fleurs, offert leurs condoléances. Certains ont même mis sur pied des organismes communautaires comme Canada Strong, pour, qui ont bu pour aider les familles en deuil. Face à la tragédie, face à l'injustice, voisins, amis, connaissances étrangers, ont su répondre par la compassion, l'entraide et la générosité. Ce sont ces valeurs et cet esprit qui avaient poussé plusieurs de ces passagers à choisir non seulement le Canada, mais les Canadiens. Mr. Speaker, I wish I were not delivering this speech today. I wish all 176 people aboard 752 were still with us. This tragedy should never have occurred, and these families deserve to know how and why it did. That's why our government has been working closely with our international partners 
to ensure that a thorough and credible investigation is conducted. And we will not rest until we get accountability and justice for the victims' families. We've also been in close contact with the families to ensure they have all the support they need, from facilitating travel and fast-tracking visas to providing legal and financial assistance. We're also matching up to $1.5 million in donations to the Canada Strong Fund for those affected by this tragedy. Mr. Speaker, I want to end this tribute by addressing the families and loved ones of the victims on behalf of all Canadians. Know that we stand with you. We will not let you weather this storm alone, and we will never forget the people you loved. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.